Hi everyone, I'm so happy that you clicked on this video and today I'm gonna share with you three amazing fall recipes that are not only very easy to make but also truly delicious and cozy. Let's start with the apple pie pockets and to make them you will only need a few ingredients. Apples of course, puff pastry dough, sugar, cinnamon and butter. I am peeling my apples but this is really optional, you can leave them as they are if the peel doesn't bother you. Cut each apple in four, remove the part where the stem and all the seeds are and cut them in small pieces. Cubes or slices doesn't really matter, just don't make them too big otherwise they will take longer to bake. Throw your apples into a bowl and add sugar, cinnamon and melted butter. Now let's prepare the dough. I'm using store-bought pastry dough, otherwise I wouldn't call this easy recipes, right? Make sure to take it out of the fridge or freezer ahead of time so that it comes to room temperature and when you unfold it, it won't break. I have a pretty small amount of dough here, so I will be cutting it in four pieces and I will get four pockets out of it. Let's also separate an egg and put it aside, we will use this one later. So now let's fill up those pockets. On one side put the apple filling but leave some borders where the pockets will close. Then make cuts on the other side of the dough. And those borders that you left will be brushed with egg white that we separated earlier. This will make them stick very well together so the pockets won't open in the oven while baking. And now fold carefully, this dough is very very easy to break. I'm trying to lift it up as gently as possible with my fingertips but my nails are always getting in the way. I managed to close all the pockets and now all that's left is to pinch the sides and brush the tops with egg yolk. If your dough came on parchment paper like mine, I would recommend to not transfer it, just cut off the excess and bake it on the same sheet. And the final step is to put them into the oven for about 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. I can almost feel that fresh pastry smell. When the pockets look crunchy and golden, they can be taken out of the oven. Sift a generous amount of powdered sugar on top while they're still hot and enjoy this heavenly taste. The next recipe is a classic for autumn days, I would say, and we will be using apples again. This is probably the easiest autumn dessert to make and I don't know a person who doesn't like it. First you will have to carve the apples, so basically take out the middle where the seeds are and maybe also scrape the sides a bit. 
And this, I would say, is the hardest part of this recipe. All the following steps are pretty simple. So if you have kids, stuffing apples could be a nice idea for spending some fun time together with them. To make the filling, chop some walnuts, put them into a bowl and add a little bit of raisins or cranberries, cinnamon, melted butter and mix everything together. Stuff your apples to the top and then transfer them into a baking pan. And a little trick here, add just a splash of water on the bottom of your pan so that the apples won't stick or burn. The baking time is about 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. It's all depending on the size of the apples you choose and your oven. When the apples are baked through, leave them out for about 5 minutes to cool down a little bit. Then you can garnish them with whipped cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon. I love the rich taste that butter gives to these apples, they basically melt in your mouth. And the last one I got for you today is a nice comforting creamy pumpkin spice hot chocolate. You can use regular or plant-based milk to make it and for one portion you will need about 200 ml of milk. Put that over medium-low heat, then throw some white chocolate in there and mix it continuously until all the chocolate pieces are melted. You can give it a taste test at this point and if you like it sweeter, just add a few more pieces of chocolate like I did. Next, take it off the heat and add a small can of pumpkin puree and some cinnamon. Something in the air, and a Give it a stir and you're done. Pour the hot chocolate into your favorite cup, put a generous amount of whipped cream on top and a sprinkle of cacao powder and enjoy. Those were my cozy fall recipes. I highly recommend that you try them all and I'm sure they will add up to that warm and cozy autumn mood. Thank you for spending this time with me today and see you in the next video. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching